Hello everyone. I am R. Vahita, Assistant Professor of CAC Department from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. I am here to explain a few concepts about cloud computing. In this video, we are going to discuss about introduction to Hadoop framework. Hadoop is an Apache open source framework written in Java that allows the distributed processing of large data sets across the clusters of computers using simple programming models. Hadoop is designed to scale up from single server to thousands of machines, each offering local computation and storage. Hadoop runs the applications using the MapReduce algorithm where the data is processed in parallel on different CPU nodes. So we can write as Hadoop is equal to MapReduce plus HDFS. So MapReduce is for processing and HDFS is for storage. Users of Hadoop. Hadoop is running search on some of the international largest si internet's largest sites like Amazon Web Services, which is Elastic MapReduce, AOL, which uses variety of users like um, behavioral analysis and targeting, eBay, search optimizations, Facebook, reporting, analytics, machine learning, LinkedIn, people you may know that is 2 into 50 machines, and Twitter, store plus process tweets, log files, other data, and Yahoo is biggest cluster of 4000 nodes. Now let us see about Hadoop architecture. Hadoop has a master slave architecture for both storage and processing. Hadoop framework includes the four modules that is Hadoop Common, Hadoop Yarn, Hadoop Distributed File System, Hadoop MapReduce. Hadoop Common. These are Java libraries and provide file system and OS level abstractions and contains the necessary Java files and scripts required to start the Hadoop. Hadoop Yarn. This is a framework for job scheduling and cluster resource management. Hadoop Distributed File System, a distributed file system that provides the high throughput access to application data. Now, Hadoop MapReduce, this is system for parallel processing of large data sets. So this is a Hadoop architecture. So in Hadoop architecture, we have MapReduce for distributed computations and HDFS for distributed storage and the YARN framework and common utilities. Hadoop core is divided into two fundamental layers that is MapReduce engine and HDFS. So the MapReduce engine is a computation engine running on top of HDFS as its data storage manager. So HDFS is a distributed file system inspired by GFS that organizes files and stores their data on a distributed computing system. And HDFS architecture which uh, the uh, HDFS has a master slave architecture containing a single name node as master and number of data nodes as workers that is slaves. Now let us see about HDFS. To store a file in this architecture, this HDFS splits the file into fixed size blocks and stores them on workers that is data nodes. The mapping of blocks to data nodes is determined by the name node. The name node that is master also manages the file system's metadata and namespace. Namespace is the area maintaining the metadata and metadata refers to all the information stored by the file system that is needed for overall management of all files. Name node is a metadata stores that all information regarding the location of input uh, splits or blocks in all data nodes. Each data node usually one per node is a, in a cluster manages the storage attached to the node. Each data node is responsible for storing and retrieving its file blocks. HDFS features. Distributed file system has special requirements like performance, scalability, concurrency control, fault tolerance, security requirements. So this is the architecture of MapReduce in Hadoop. Here we are going to see about distributed file system that is HDFS and the execution engine that is MapReduce. So this is the diagram which shows that. So we have master node, a single node and many slave nodes. So that is shown in this diagram. Properties of Hadoop engine. The HDFS has a master slave architecture containing a single name node as master and number of data nodes as workers as said before. So to store a file it splits and stores as workers. The name node also manages the file system metadata and namespace. Job tracker is a master node 
which receives the user's job decides on how many tasks it will run and decides where to uh, run each map the task tracker is a slave node <coughs> it receives the task from job tracker runs the task until completion and always in communication with the job tracker reporting progress so this is how a uh, job runs in hadoop and these components contribute in a running a, in job in the system a user node a job tracker and several task trackers the data flow starts by calling the run job function using uh, from the user program that runs on the user node in which the conf is an object containing some uh, parameters for the map produce job submission each job is submitted to the user node to the job tracker node task assignment is the job tracker creates one map task for each computer's input split and task execution is the control flow to execute a task which starts inside by copying the job jar file to the file system task running check is performed by receiving the periodic heartbeat messages to the job tracker from the task trackers now let us see about map produce MapReduce is a programming model for data processing. The MapReduce is designed to efficiently process large volumes of data by connecting many commodity computers together to work in parallel. Hadoop can MapReduce run MapReduce programs written in various languages like Java, Ruby and Python. MapReduce works by breaking the processing into two phases that is map phase and reduce phase. So each phase has key value pairs as input and output the types of which may be chosen by the programmer. The program also specifies two functions, the map function and the reduce function. In MapReduce, the chunks are processed in isolation by tasks called mappers. The output from the mappers are denoted as intermediate outputs and are brought into a second set of tasks called reducers. The process of bringing together the IOs into a set of reducers is known as shuffling process. The reducers produce the final outputs this is called as FOS and this diagram shows the chunks mappers and the shuffling of data using reducers. Thank you.